spiritual understanding, and this morning I'm going to be speaking about the, per the perfecting of our love towards one another. I'll be focusing on Colossians 3, 12 through 14, mainly verse 14. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Yeah. Amen. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Amen. In scripture, those that are in Christ are exhorted to put on certain things. Let us put on the armor of light. Let us put on the whole armor of God. Let us put on the new man. Let us put on bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering. Let us put on the Lord Jesus. Let us put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Like Esther, we put on our royal apparel to stand in the inner court of the king and obtain favor in his sight. These royal garments are not tangible, but spiritual and provided through Christ. Like Jacob gave Joseph a coat of many colors, our Heavenly Father gives us a coat in order that it will be seen by all and all will know that we are his. Yes, amen. As the father in the parable of the prodigal son called his servants to put the best robe on his son who returned home, our father prepares for us the best robe to put on. Amen. Amen. Why should we put on these things? Because it is most reasonable for the elect of God to do so. We, put, we do not put on charity merely so that we may be accepted, but because we are accepted. Yes, amen. That's why Paul says, put on therefore as the elect of God. Only the elect of God has the capacity to put charity on. Amen. Above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Charity is the bond that unites us together. It is a perfect bond that will stay united into eternity. Amen. Without charity or, more, or without the love of God, we are nothing. There is no bond, no cohesiveness. In 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 3, Paul says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, that so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profits me nothing. If charity is not present, whatever we do profits nothing. But when charity is present, it is profitable and it bonds all of those things together. Amen. The unity between believers is grounded and rooted in Christ and tied with charity. How would we glorify God with one mind and one mouth without charity? How would we receive one another without charity? How would we be like-minded one toward another without charity? Charity and unity are coupled together. Without charity, there is no proper unity and the body needs unity to function prop yeah. properly in order to be profitable. Amen. Charity is active and effective. Mm. Charity suffers long and is kind. Charity envies not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly, seeks not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Amen. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. All these aspects of charity are found in Christ. The flesh is not capable of doing these things. Jesus says, love one another as I have loved you. That is a key part of that commandment, as I have loved you. That is, the love of Christ is not the same as the love of natural flesh. The love of Christ is unfeigned and completely selfless. Yes, amen. Now, if we love one another, God dwells in us and his love is perfected in us. 1 John 4.12 So as we love one another, the love of God is perfected in us. 
And we are told why the love of God is perfected in us in 1 John 4, 17. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Yes, the earth shall pass away, and everything unseen with it, but this love will remain into eternity. May we continue to grow with one another in this love. Amen. Blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is like to that above. 1 Corinthians 16, 14 says, Let all your things be done with charity. I will now open in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gathering of the saints and that we can be present with one another. Lord, we ask for your blessing on our meeting, that all things would be done with charity, and that we would look to you and have you in the forefront of our minds in all that we say and do. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Brother Jonathan will